Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at an app called Captainator for Final Cut Pro. What it does is it creates auto generated captions for your footage and whatnot. So if you want to create auto captions, you use this app. Now it's well, not free. It costs, I believe, around $20, but it is a one time payment. It's not a subscription service of any kind. So let's actually get into how to use it, shall we? I'm going to click open. And then as you click open, it will actually give you, you can look through, get all these, you know how to whatnot video walk you through it but for the purpose of this video we're just going to click install expert export destination okay now we did that specifically for a reason and that is because it will appear here when we need it we need to do one more thing though um we need to click index right here, okay? If we had some extra audio or something, we'd want to make sure to mute that extra audio. Just, you know, like if it's video game audio, so it can fully hear just this audio. So, with that done, what we want to do is come over to here. There will be a new thing that it installed in the background. It got, did it in the background called Captionator. We want to click on it and then export. Let's see, hit next. When I close this behind it, you'll see this pop up. If you don't have any of the fonts that it um, recommends installed, You'll just click on that, click custom, and then advanced. This is where the magic happens, okay? You can pick normal, uppercase, lowercase. This is basically if the text will appear uppercase, normal case. When I pick uppercase for the purpose of this, when I hit build in, you can go 3D if you want. We're not going to. Font color, we can pick a font color. We'll probably go with um, white, I guess. And as I pick black, hold on. There we go. We're going to go with white as the color. We can go into titles. We can pick how many words we want it to be. We want it to be max. One to three words per thing. Under captions, do we want it to have captions below as well? We can turn this on or off. Then we just hit generate. After we hit generate, it will ask us where we want to save the captions. We can save them there. It will then ask us what library we want to put the captions in. We will choose our library that we're in right now. There's the generator caption. We can go ahead, double click on it. Um, and then we can simply just hit Command A to, you know, copy all of it. Or, you know, to get more accurate, just so we copy only the font we might want to you know do this and then we can hit command c and then we go down to our thing once again where we start talking we just hit command v and as you can see we pasted it it shows exactly where it ought to be now of course we probably don't want it in the middle of the thing here so what we are going to do we're going to click on the transform tool and then we are going to drag it down here okay so it's 
nice and below here like we want and then we're just going to hit control c or command c rather and then we select all of these and then we hit command shift v okay and make sure make sure position is selected hit paste and then everything changes the position and you know you can go in change whatever you want say you want 3d after all you can change them to have their 3d you can you can go in edit the fonts if you want like if you notice that it may have got something wrong you can change that you can change the scale of it like say you want it to be bigger you can change the scale of it and you know of course you can do the command copy trick once again you can come over here you can hit control shift I mean command shift v once again position and scale so all of them will change like that as you see fit and yeah you can just have fun with it this will save a lot of time because since you can do one word at a time you can also do tiktoks or youtube shorts with this as well um, let me know what you guys think of this plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can get it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later. Mm -hmm.